We get a lot of questions at Pine Ridge Archery on how do I get the glue off the shafts of my arrows for refletching? And I'd like to show you. I'm going to show you both on a wrap and just the veins uh, glued right to the shaft. First of all, I like to remove the knocks. And let me show you why. As we begin to uh, scrape off, the reason why I took off the knock is because you're scraping in this motion. I don't want to take and hit the knock itself. My personal favorite is the uh, Easy Crest knife because it has this little cutout in the blade itself. It works out really well. Just start scraping off the wrap on this particular one. When I get to the fletchings right here, just put a little pressure and they come right off. But I just keep, it's almost like you're whittling, but you're not putting too much pressure because you don't want to start taking off some of the carbon. And you just scrape off the wraps. A lot of, guys, a lot of people complain that, oh, wraps are really hard to get off. I believe myself, from my personal experience, that using a wrap is actually easier to get off than just veins and the glue right on the shaft. Because I just have the adhesive from the wrap on here, which isn't very thick. Now, I'm going to show you this particular arrow. This is glued right onto the shaft itself. Again, just scrape off the fletchings. It's not hard. It's really easy. And I just kind of go in this motion myself and just scrape off. The remaining part of the glue and sometimes a little bit of the fletching on there. This particular one I didn't take the knock off because the wrap goes all the way up to the knock on the other arrow and that's when you'll actually hit the knock but it is probably a good idea to take it off. Okay now you want to take and just turn it around in your fingers and see if you feel any glue. There's a little bit right there I can see it. Just scrape that off. Okay now we're going to take and we're just going to clean, uh, using alcohol, just clean the shaft off. Get any of the residue. Sometimes you get a little carbon on there. On these two arrows. So you can see right there, some of the carbon was on there. You definitely want to get that off before you go to put on your next fletchings. So a lot of people say that uh, refletching arrows is kind of hard and tough. As you can see, it's really easy to get off the fletchings and the wraps. It's not a big deal. You can save your arrows. You don't have to buy new arrows all the time. Just refletch them.